Ramadan festivities in the occupied West Bank are more subdued than recent years, and that's in light of Israel's war on Gaza. Nida Ibrahim reports from Ramallah. This might be the busiest we've seen the central vegetable market in Ramallah since the beginning of the war, but it does not compare to the previous Ramadan seasons in the previous years where it would be hard to find a place to stand really in the market, especially at this time of the day when Palestinians are getting out of work, trying to gather and buy some vegetables to share the breakfast meal with the family. Ramadan or no Ramadan, the Israeli occupation's measures against Palestinians continue with the extensive Israeli raids as well as the checkpoints that are no doubt preventing Palestinians from reuniting with their families in one table. This is the worst Ramadan for us because of the war on Gaza. How are we supposed to feel when our people cannot find food there? Our hearts are aching for our brothers and sisters in Gaza. The military checkpoints are very difficult. You never know when they'll put up a new one. They are there to complicate our lives. Our economic situation's already been difficult, but now, with the closures and preventing workers from working in Israel, it's become even more complicated. Despite the occupation, the war, the difficulties, many people here were telling us that they were trying to find some sense of normalcy during Ramadan. But all their hearts and minds are fixated on Gaza. They were hoping that by the beginning of this month they would see a ceasefire. Now all of these hopes have been diminished, but their prayers continue for a ceasefire, for the war to end, for the situation to get a little bit better. Nida Ibrahim Al Jazeera, the Occupied West Bank.